Most of the time with a DR solve, especially with HTR, you'll end with leaving a slice of pieces between the DR layers. Uh, this could be anything from 3E to 2E, 2E to 4 centers, or even 4 centers plus 3E or 2E, 2E. And the way to solve it is by inserting slices at various points in the post-DR part of your skeleton, and just trying to find a combination that cancels the most moves while uh, actually solving the cube. One other thing that's sometimes useful and sometimes required for optimal is inserting an 8 mover, which can often cancel 7 or 8 moves, like that. Uh, but my and many other people's approach to solving the slice is essentially brute force. Um, but I've got some examples and you'll see what I mean. Uh, but here's a scramble and skeleton. So if you do the scramble, this is what the cube will look like at the end of the skeleton. So if I'm doing a slice move that fully cancels with the, the relevant UD move I'm using, um, instead of being like DE, you can just instead do DW. Um, just a bit of a shortcut. Um, so essentially, what I'm going to do is look for a combination of widenings or slicings that add zero moves, and go through all of those just to check if any of them work, then I move on to plus one if necessary, and then plus two if still necessary. So just to make things simple, I'm going to start from the left of the skeleton and just work my way up. Just trying every combination of widenings that uh, leaves the center solved, and seeing if any of them solves the case. So we're going to undo to the first D move. So we're going to insert a slice at the first D, meaning instead of D, we do DW, do an R2. And here we have a U move, so we can widen that to uh, insert, insert another slice and make the centers solved. So we're just going to continue and see if that solves the cube, which it does not. Now we have to reset the skeleton by either undoing all of that and redoing it. But what I like to do is um, note down the pieces, well you can keep a mental note or do it on another cube, but what I like to do when it's 3E is actually write down the letters from my blind scheme, uh, just so I can reset up to that quite quickly. Um, if you're not familiar with blind then you know, you'll just have to keep note on another cube or in your head, or just undo all the moves, but okay, here's the original skeleton, we're going to try again. So the next thing we can try is widening the first U and then the second D. That also does not work. But there is one more way to add no moves, which is uh, widening both of the D moves and the U2. So let's try that. D, R2, U, B2, Y, D, F2, R2, B2, F2, U, W2, L2. And that actually works. So slice solved and zero moves. Very nice. Wide moves are actually legal in FMC, so you could just write a W in front of uh, those three moves we did, and you'll have a valid solution. But uh, if you were to say, do an E after the U2, you would have to rewrite it as UD moves and you know replace like the F2s with L2s and whatnot. All right, next example will be a, a little more complicated. So we have this at the end of our skeleton, and let's just go through the combinations. So. Something I want to point out is that um, 3E cannot be solved with 2E2 insertions, um, but 2E2E 2 2E can be solved with any sort of slice combination, so that's more freeing. But with that in mind, we're not going to try widening the U2 and the D2 because that's guaranteed to not work. But something like UW, UW, U2 could work. Uh, so we're going to start from the very start of the skeleton and widen the U2 and both of the, the normal U moves. So starting from the very start of the skeleton, I'm going to try widening the U2 and both of the following U's. U, L2, U. and that doesn't work. But it does end with a 2E2E, two -E, which potentially means that we could uh, unwiden the first U2 and widen the D2 to solve it. You don't necessarily need to be thinking about stuff like that, you could just try brute forcing every combination of slices, but um, it's just going to save you a little bit of time. So let's try that thing I just said. Widen that, widen that, widen that, and unfortunately it does not work, but that's okay. So the next thing to try would be widening the U quarter turns and the U prime. So let's try that. U L2 U F2 B2 U W prime. And that doesn't solve it, but it gives a 2E 2E, which means we could try widening the U2 D2 on top of that 
to see if it works. So UW2, U, U prime, D2, DW2, L2, F2, R2. Wow, it works. So that's another plus zero. Let's take a look at the next example. This one's gonna be a little more interesting. So we have this as the skeleton, and we're gonna undo to the first D move. So we can try widening that, widening the second D, and then widening a U2, and that does not work. Um, we could try widening the second U2 instead of the first, but since it's 3E, we know that won't work. But if you remember, there is an 8 move uh, 3E alg using half turns that could come in handy here. Whenever you have two DR face half turns with one half turn in between them, like this U2 F2 U2, uh, you have the chance to insert an 8 minus 8 alg, or at least an 8 minus 6. To cancel 8 moves, you need the move before or after that U2 F2 U2 to be uh, adjacent to that middle move. So L2 is adjacent to F2, so we can insert an 8 move here. But really all the uh, 8 minus 8 alg does is it takes this L2 and moves it to the end. So it's now U2, F2, U2, L2. So we'll undo the U2, F2, U2, L2, and then do another U2, F2, U2, L2. That's 8 minus 8, but it does not solve the case, unfortunately. And um, I knew that was going to happen based off just knowing what the elk does, but you can just guess and check. So I'm going to reset the skeleton and start looking for some plus one slice insertions. So we're just going to start from the first D move. Widen the first D. And then, then we're going to insert an E prime after this D to cancel one move. And that does not work. So we'll try inserting an E prime at the first U2 instead. And that also does not work. So we'll try inserting it in the last move instead, and that also does not work. Now it might look like we've run out of ways to add just one move, but um, using a combination of the 8 minus 8 alg and inserting slices, we still have options. So going back to the start of the skeleton, I'm going to try doing a DW, L2, F2, D, E prime, L2, B2. Now, at this point, we can insert the 8 minus 8, so instead of doing L2, U2, F2, U2, we do U2, F2, U2, L2, and by golly, it has solved the cube in uh, just one move. Now, the last example I have is an interesting case. This is actually from a, this is from my last solve, and um, this is a 21 that I missed because I simply didn't find the HTR because there were like a million options, but you might notice with these four moves post HTR that you can actually apply the eight minus eight alg to go from solved in 22 to leave slice in 22, which, which may sound stupid. Why do that when you've got a solved cube? But what that does is leaves you with a UD2 in the solution, which could potentially be sliced out to give you a 21. So this is our slice skeleton and we're just gonna go through the usual thing to try and solve it. But we have to widen this U or this D2 to cancel a move, and we have to add zero moves elsewhere. Uh, otherwise, we're just getting another 22 or worse, which is pointless. So let's try widening this first D move and that U move. And that doesn't work. Or we could try widening this U prime and the U. And that doesn't work. So the only thing left to try is widening the D, the U prime, and this D2. DW, R2, F2, B2, UW prime, R2, U, DW2, F2, D2, L2. And that works. And that adds negative one moves, so we've gone from slice in 22 to solved in 21. Um, that's really about it. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments. Goodbye.